Welcome everyone. Today we are taking a look at the Winko MDL-18 mandolin. I've had this mandolin for about three weeks now and I've tried it out on all sorts of produce from my fridge. And it's very uniform, very precise. It gives you these beautiful, consistent, thin slices. However, with mandolins of this style, technique is just so important. Because if you're not holding this item right, your food will jam, you might even cut yourself. So I'm going to share with you some tips today on how to really get the most out of this item. In this video, I'm going to be covering three parts. First, we're going to go over the specifications. Second, I'm going to do a demo and show you how to use this mandolin on a variety of foods on all of its settings. And third, I'm going to talk about functionality aspects of this item. So let's begin. Out of the box, this is what you get. The mandolin along with a handguard. The handguard very, very important for safety. Always use the handguard. This mandolin, it doesn't come with a separate set of blades. Everything is included. Everything is integrated right into the unit. Your knob over here controls the settings. You can use this to do julienne cuts. You can use this to cut steak fries. And you can use it to slice. When using it to slice, you can go anywhere from 3 eighths of an inch thickness and below. As thin as you want. You've also got this decorative cutting blade over here, which I'll show you how to use a little later. This mandolin has two supports. The first thing you want to do before you set it on your countertop, pull these down. So this one and this one. You're ready to set it up. We're going to start with julienning some carrots. Now I already went in and cut them down to about two inches in length beforehand. Now we're going to take our assisted grip here and just place the carrot in there. And tap it in place. Now it's important when you're using the mandolin, you're always behind it. You don't want it side to side. If you're using it side to side, you're just going to make it a lot more difficult for yourself. Just give it a nice push through every time. Now let's see the results we're getting. Look at these. And now of course, it works perfect for slicing as well. And you can go up to 3 eighths of an inch. I'm going to show you the thinnest and the thickest you can get out of it. So this is the thickest setting, this is the 3 eighths of an inch. Now we're going to turn it down all the way to 1 eighth of an inch. We're just going to push it right through. I'll show you some of these slices, look at this. Very thin, beautiful slices. Look at this, look at how quickly you can get just a whole bunch of these nice thin slices. Look at that. And finally I want to show you the grooved setting. We're going to turn the knob all the way down to the groove setting here. And what this does is it takes the cutting blade and places it right below this so we go over the top area. And then we're going to take the lower lever here and bring it up. And the higher we bring it, the thicker the cut. We're going to bring it right down through here. Let's see, this is what it looks like. Even though I picked uh, carrots for this, the mandolin it works perfect for pretty much any nice solid vegetable. You can use it on Things like rutabaga, kohlrabi, you've got beets over here. We're just going to julienne these really quickly. Look how fast you can go with this. Finish this up in no time at all. If you have a lot of these to go through, this thing is such a time saver. Look at these beautiful cuts we have over here. Look at this. Just turn out amazing. Imagine having to cut all of these by hand. Moving on to the last part of our video, functionality. What I like most about this mandolin is the range of adjustment. You can go as thin as you want for slices. I've made these incredible paper thin potato chips with it. And the construction quality, it's apparent just looking at it. Stainless steel across the board, this item is built to last. I expect to get many years of use out of it. To sum things up, I'm very happy with this mandolin. I've used it on a variety of produce and I've gotten great results each time. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them.